Good morning, adventurers. That is right, we are back out on the road. If you guys didn't catch our last video, our RV kind of bit the dust. It's not <laughs> starting, so we had to get her towed. We were actually supposed to be driving it right now up to Chicago. Since it won't start though, it's at the mechanic back in our hometown. So we're just gonna go and have a little adventure while she's getting work done. An adventure in a Durango Doug. That's yeah. what we call our Durango, by yeah, the way. Yeah, do you guys know this, Doug? There's this cartoon called Doug that we used to watch when we were little, and I guess one of his alter egos is Durango Doug. Durango Doug. Durango, Durango, Durango. Durango. All right, now back on topic. <laughs> we are gonna be making our way up to Wisconsin over the next few days, but first we are heading to a really cool Airbnb just about an hour from where we have been staying, and y'all, we're gonna be cheating on our old gal with an even older gal, <laughs> a 67 camper. Well uh, said. <laughs> I feel a little bad about it, but not too bad. But we have about an hour drive, nice easy hour, and then we'll arrive to our little vintage darling. I think we have arrived. There it is. Well, isn't that just adorable? It's so teeny tiny. <laughs> How cute. Dude, this area is awesome. It's all secluded. It's our little vintage oasis. Y'all, meet Dragonfly, the cute little 1967 pull behind camper. 1967, so almost 10 years older I, than our camper. I thought our gal was was up there in age, but this is even older. And as you can see, it's super adorable and retro with the bright blue and yellow. It's so fun and it's so teeny tiny, but surprisingly spacious on the inside. And we will be showing you guys that in just a second. But first, we wanted to explore out here because y'all, they have done up yeah. this whole area. Is this not awesome or what? It's, it's, so, fun it's so chill and relaxed. I know. If only the weather was a little bit better. I know. It is a little chilly. It's about 20 degrees cooler than when we left this morning, which is wild. And there are actually 85 acres of trails on the property, which we'll probably explore in a little bit. But first, we've got to play on this swing set. Is this how you do it? <laughs> You oh yeah, you look like you're having so much fun. Oh, okay. Do I trust this <laughs> this much? How's the view? That is great. All right. <laughs> All right. We've reached equilibrium. I got this. Cool, cool, dudes. Shipping the waves. Going out to California. Yeah, man. Hanging ten. When we see other vintage RVs and trailers, we're always like getting close on it and inspecting it and just looking at all the ways that it's different and the same as ours. One thing with these vintage trailers is that you always have issues with the seams. I mean, especially when they're like 50 years old, you always have to add sealant and then add more sealant and add more sealant in order to fix all that. And really this stuff is all giving me PTSD from when we had to fix all this stuff on our RV because we gutted all that stuff and put brand new sealant on everything. This is the stuff that we're dealing with. Oh gosh. <laughs> So all the seams are all like this. Something I do not want to have to do again, that's for sure. But they have the vintage style windows, almost exactly like the ones that we have on our RV. I think it's pronounced Jalousy. I'll put the word on the screen because I'm, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure if that's how you pronounce it. These seem a little bit more heavy duty than ours. I was about ours. to say, these are really nice yeah, compared kinda, to ours. I'm kind of jealous. If you polish these, man, they'd be sparkling. It's really cool to see how they painted the outside. So you can tell that they just went over this aluminum with a roller and put a white coat on it. And then they just put this light uh, wrapping or decals to make the yellow and the blue. And it actually looks surprisingly good. We're planning on eventually maybe getting our RV repainted and uh, maybe we'd have to go the decal route like this. I don't know. You guys remember in our last video how we ordered those custom drip guards and replaced them. This is basically what you'll see on all these vintage campers. These are the exact ones that we replaced ours with. I don't know if this is the original one, but I mean, ours looks just like that. It's crazy the stuff you can find on the internet to replace on these vintage campers. They have basically everything. We've goofed around outside long enough. We are gonna go inside and give you guys a look inside this charming little beauty. But first, a word from our sponsors. Do you ever wake up in the morning and feel tired? Have you ever felt that midday energy slump? Well, now you can put a little pep back in your step with Verb Energy Bars. 
we have been snacking on these delicious little guys for months now, and we absolutely love them. They are only 90 calories and they are super low in sugar. They're actually infused with green tea, so you can get as much caffeine as a shot of espresso without crashing or getting that jittery feeling. You guys know we've been putting in some very, very long hours on the RV, and sometimes just in the middle of the day, we'll get super tired all of a sudden. So it's been awesome having these little energy bars around to give yeah, us that extra boost. To perk us up so that we don't slice our fingers off or anything yeah. like that. Got to stay focused when you're working <laughs> with power tools. Our personal favorites are pumpkin spice latte and salted peanut butter, both of which come in Verb's trial pack. And the first 1,000 people who use the link in the description below are going to get that trial pack, which includes four different flavors for just the price of shipping, which is less than one USD. Less than one dollar. Oh my gosh. And we can recommend you guys. They are so freaking delicious. Oh, are we eating them now? Oh, wait. Yeah, is it too late in the day to have one? Heck no. All right, let's go back to the 60s. I only have one hand. Woo, so 60s, here we come. Well, howdy, neighbor. Come on in. <laughs> Welcome to our vintage camper. We mentioned that it was surprisingly spacious in here, and look at this. I can fully extend my arm. Arms. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> the first thing we noticed when we walked in is that it has real wood floors in here, y'all. It makes me kind of sad that we put vinyl in our RV. I mean, we kind of had to, but, yeah. oh, cool, real wood yeah. would have been nice. really looks sharp. It's been really fun taking all of this in and getting the cool vintage vibes in here. We're taking a lot of inspiration for our gal, although ours is not gonna quite be this aesthetic. They're really going with the 60s in here, and I love that, but that's not quite what we're going for. Let's start with the dining nook. Check this out. Who would want to have breakfast right here with their favorite person? Which for me is you. That's me. Not you guys, her. Oh, me. <laughs> you guys are all right, but she's better. <laughs> but they have a super vintage vibe over in this nook. You can see all the little knickknacks that they have. So it makes it super quaint and cozy. They have a really nice design sense, whoever put this together. This actually folds down into a bed. There's also a bed over there though. Do we sleep here or do we sleep over there? I think the other one is bigger. This is a single bed, apparently. Okay, so we won't be sleeping here, but it can sleep probably like four people if you really wanted to get cozy. I really like this decal that they have on the table. I'm trying to think of some way that we can incorporate this. I don't know if it really fits the vibe we're going for, but it's super cool. Moving on. It's a little tight right here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I got a bigger butt than I thought I did. Ah, oh God. Spacious, yeah, but spacious. That's <laughs> still <hilarious> small. <laughs> but in this corner, you can see they have this awesome sitting nook here. They got the record player that we've been firing up, but we can't fire it up now because we'll probably get a copyright strike. But it really sets the vibe. And again, they have all these awesome knickknacks, all these vintage postcard style pictures up here. It's super charming. This folds out into a bed. And I guess this is the bigger of the two beds. So this is where we're going to be sleeping tonight. Uh, if we can figure out how this uh, whole thing folds out direct your attention over here. They have an AC, you guys. This is actually an AC heater combo, so you can stay nice and cozy in here. Would you like to do the rest of the tour? Sure. <laughs> so, welcome back. They also have a full kitchen. They have a stove, which is actually very similar to the one that was in our RV. Apparently it works. You do the cool like lighter method, which we will show you later. We'll be cooking a full meal in here, but it also has a whole sink with running water tons of cabinet space so it has all kinds of pots and pans stored around here and a pretty good sized fridge it even has a little freezer in there so you can prepare full meals cook wash up and still have plenty of space to dance around while you do it is that what everyone does when they're cooking also our host runs a produce stand and she asked if we want wanted apples, bananas, or pineapple. We opted for pineapple, baby. It seemed more unique. And let's see if it, oh, it should be ripe. Yeah. If it pulls out easily, yeah. supposedly it's ripe. Also, we just realized there's this little bag here. It says, for you. What I'm hoping that I'm the you. Oh, it's like a whole letter. Hello, look at that. Aw. 
Oh. Handwritten note. That is so cool. Thank you, Gayan. We love the little litter. It's so sweet. We're gonna have to hang this up in our RV. All right, what could be in here? Ah, she asked us before we came if we liked chocolate chip or blueberry, and we said blueberry. Oh my word. Ooh. Yeah, big old blueberry Check muffins. Yes. Man, we've actually been here for a couple hours. I wish I had seen this when we first got here. I know. Well, now it'll be a bedtime snack. So we've got kitchen, we've got dining nook, we've got two full beds. Do we have a bathroom? Of course we do, right here. So they have a functioning toilet in here that I guess is hooked up to a septic system, so no maintenance there. I guess this room also doubles as a shower because they have a faucet here that's hooked up to a little shower head. So I guess you can take a shower in here. Nice and cozy, huh? <laughs> they also have an outdoor shower that I think is a lot better than this one. So maybe we'll be using that tomorrow. But if you wanna see that, you gotta pay extra. Apparently there are two cats on this property, Biscuit and Gravy. And Gravy came to say hi, but she's not too sure about us yet. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't want to pet you anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Aw, animals always get scared of the microphone on our camera. Yeah, I think the camera in general just looks like a giant angry animal. <laughs> <laughs> gravy is Sorry, not gravy. happy. <laughs> You guys, I'm out here trying to light a fire. I almost had it. And then what happened? I was trying to give him this log and I tripped myself and I fell into the fire and pushed it out. Well, she dropped her beer right there. Well, <laughs> so yeah. now there's a puddle of beer down there. So I went, ooh, and I dumped all this and through this. <laughs> and then I messed up my knee and I got, and I got a little hurt and my hands a little scraped up, but I'm fine. We didn't need a fire anyway, right? The important thing is that you're okay. <laughs> now it's up to you. You got to get this fire going again. I don't even know what to do with this now. How about I get the fire on the stove going instead and cook us dinner? Yeah, that's probably a better idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh man, y'all. The end of an era. Puncho Daddy is gone. Where did we get that at? We got it up in Kansas City. Yeah. Now that is how you season some chicken. <laughs> Just chicken and veggies. What else could you want in life? Ooh, check it out. Oh, oh man. Oh my God. You guys, does that look amazing or what? Ooh. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Dinner is served. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to that camper life, yeah? yeah. I'm a fan. I think I could, I could be down with it. We can see ourselves in this, which is great because we're renovating an RV. We're so. renovating an RV and we better be able to live in one. All right, we're gonna eat all of this. I think Eric managed to get one yeah. movie offline. There's a, this spot over here, you can get one bar of signal on mm -hmm. T-Mobile. Just right here, nowhere else in the camper. <laughs> <laughs> see y'all in a bit. Just like that, our bed is made. I am very glad that in our RV, our bed is over the cab area, so it will always be made and always ready to go, and no uh, maneuvering. Tea for the lady. Thank you. Mm. This night has turned very chilly. It is in the 40s Fahrenheit outside and very windy, but we are nice and toasty in here. Oh yeah, heater is right there, baby. See you guys tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Bye. Who have we here? I'm here. I didn't know you were coming. I showed up. Here he is. This place is special. It actually is awesome, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that yeah. pond over there. We're the actually going to be spending the day with Matt. That's why he came up here. We're only like an hour away from where we actually live. Would you rather live in the one we're renovating or this one? Well, yours, obviously, but <laughs> <laughs> this one's cool, though. This one's cool, though, in its yeah. own way.
It's like a house, but everything's miniature. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, amazing little trailer. My little we will miss you. Fly. I know, but you have given us much inspiration. Yes. I guess next time you guys see us, we're gonna be heading up to Wisconsin. Yes. Yeah. For for cheese and beer, right? Yeah, and hopefully it warms up, you guys. We were gonna go hiking and stuff and chill by the pond, but it's freezing so out cool. here. With this, like this is the warmest sweater I brought, so. I'm, I'm not feeling it today, sadly. Yeah. We'll link to this trailer in case you guys are in the area. We're in like the Farmington area. Yeah, just south of St. Louis in yeah. Missouri here. But cool. it's in the middle of nowhere and it's so cute and quaint. And as you saw, surprisingly spacious. Yeah. And I think you could sleep like four or five people in there. So bring the whole family. <laughs> the whole family in that little gal. All right. We're going to go grab brunch with old Matt and then we'll be on the road. Bye, adventures. Oh, we'll see, we'll you, see you on, on the road. Shoot. I always do that. You get it. <laughs>